first so we can find an item. Maybe it's hidden behind a wall here. No. Found it. Pretty sweet composite bow. Mm -hmm. Did they have pulleys back then? Mm, sure. Or is a composite bow like made of layered wood? I have no idea. Oh, that's great. Everything's broken. I don't even know why you build things. <laughs> Watch, this probably does nothing. <laughs> or it does everything. Damn. Pardon? The water was damned? Indeed. Now I just jump down? No. No, that old contraption should work. Now that's been greased up by all the water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just the uh, drowned corpses. Like oh. Germany in here. <laughs> Bad taste. <laughs> I don't need to be cursed for these men, do I? Nope. This Drake Valley. Outside of there is, but you don't want to go on there. Definitely not. I want to go up these stairs. And then these stairs. So, why did they flood this Atlantis area here? To seal in the Four Kings. So, they didn't like the Four Kings. Um. It might be. That is because they were corrupted by the uh, the darkness abyss or whatever. We're not sure the exact story. He has like a darkness shield. Yep, it's kind of cool. cool. And that grab attack is interesting because if you have any humanity on your counter, you can actually steal one if he grabs you. Ooh, that would be a fun mechanic. Hmm. So now you want to be careful in here because there's lots of guys. Not cool, dude. There's another one off to the left that you can get. Those things were in the first one. Were they? Something like that. Maybe it's a common character design. There were also ones like that in <coughs> Quest 64. Hmm. I never got very far in that game. Yeah. It's because it required a memory card. I had a memory card. At one point. What did he just spit out there? Is that a bad guy? It was another one of those explosive skulls. 
Not to mention we fought one of these guys in Snow Brothers. Did we? Second boss. Oh, the big blob dude. Mm -hmm. Different tactic. Yeah. yeah, but they're all the same character. Blobs. <laughs> There's gonna be another guy in one of these alcoves. I'm sure he'll come out and show himself. Sayonara, dude. Oh. Yeah. Chunk. What are those good for? Upgrading weapons. Love, love, chunk. Another Goonies line that I know. Hmm. Okay. No. Treasure chest. Wow, that's very large. It's the VLE. <laughs> very large ember. Is that a reference to something? The VLA. Very large array. Is that a uh, extraterrestrial thing? I think so. It's a bunch of dishes that are searching the skies for radio signals, I think. Sweet. So that's all that was in here? Yep. Alright. Uh, uh, continue on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that wall was there? The hidden, hidden wall? It certainly looked like a hidden wall. <laughs> Luckily there's a nice shortcut to where you were. You just head back down the stairs in the elevator. Sounds like quite the shortcut. Well, you don't have to do any ghosts to get there. That's good. I hate doing ghosts. Okay. You ever tried supplementing vitamin D in the winter time? Like adding more of it to my diet? Nah, uh, that or just taking pills. No. Mm -hmm. Why? They say that people get depressed in the winter time. Do you feel that you get depressed in the winter time? Um, I get depressed in the afternoon time <laughs> and the morning time. Sometimes the evening time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is uh. Do I lack vitamin D? Uh, apparently, due to a lack of sunlight exposure, they actually, some people recommend taking it year round. Where's the shortcut, by the way? So. Yeah, 
I guess you will have to go past the ghosts. Oh, so you could fight them or you could just run past them. I'm not sure how far they follow you. But get hurt. Get madly hurt. Yeah, but like the government recommends 400 IUs a day. IUs? It's some kind of unit. So don't go up the stairs, but kind of go past them. And if you jump down there, that's where you were. Sweet! <coughs> but, uh, people who actually research it say that you should get more like one or two thousand a day. Hmm. Which can only be gotten through supplementation, not through sunlight. Well, then it sounds like we've been getting by without that much. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you're not gonna die if you don't get that much. Please don't kill me, I want this. That is a lot of souls. Oh! There's a guy I met in Texas who, I guess, had beaten cancer. And I'm sure he had, like, regular like chemotherapy or whatever but he uh, recommended uh, vitamin D3 mm -hmm. like a bunch of it to, to help prevent or or prevent cancer you know prevent cancer or even <laughs> help uh, cure it <laughs> I don't know how much stock I put in that <laughs> it's like those things there are people on Facebook that'll I'd always be linking like natural remedies, like essential oils, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It seemed kind of dumb to me. Well, that's part of a scam they're pulling these days. Now, when I was reading about vitamin D, because like there's a theory that people go bald so that they can get more sunlight exposure on <laughs> their head. Interesting. Mm. Get more vitamin D. <coughs> Could be. Has has a nice coincidental sense to it. So you're saying I should be happy and going bald? Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have to take those pills that you're already not taking. Alright. I'll be happier. Except I rarely spend time in the sun in the first place. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm so unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with not being employed and living with my parents <laughs> and not having a girlfriend. No, it's lack of sunlight. Yes. Well, when I was taking vitamin D, it seemed like it was helping my mood. Hmm. So let me know if you want some of my many vitamin D3 pills. Are you not using them? I will. I was temporarily not using them. Cause you're supposed to take them like with fat. Because hmm. it helps absorption. And like I was taking this. That's not good. What? The power outage blink. Oh. We had twice there. We didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to take D with fat? Yeah, I take it with fat. And I was drinking like this high calorie shake, like nutrition shake, so I could get more calories before work. Mm -hmm. Where am I headed? Um, so there's that hidden wall, there's an item and an enemy that you haven't gotten yet. Okay, I will look for that. That's behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time. Like, the thing has calcium in it. Mm -hmm. Apparently, calcium is absorbed through the same pathway as vitamin D, so it's pointless to take it at the same time. Hmm. So it's like blocking D. <laughs> it's a D blocker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a mimic! One of these times you're gonna direct me to a mimic and tell me there's a very important item in there. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. That's the thing, like, people who are friends tend to, like, tease each other, mm. and, like, pranks on each other because that's what friends do. But I'm not that type of person, even around my friends. Yeah. Some friends aren't. I feel like that's the sign of a healthy friendship, and I just don't have healthy friendships. Well, that's definitely gotta be it. <laughs> so you wanna go up the stairs? Couldn't be that you're a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> that you are unhealthy towards other people. <laughs> so I go in a little bit, and I come back out. And there's... oops. Oh, ghosts. I forgot about them. Uh. Well, I'm gonna curse myself anyway. Might as well. Okay. <laughs> I guess well, you don't have any. That's gonna kill me. <laughs> well, it'll do damage. I'm surprised that doesn't stagger him. Must have a lot of poise. Yeah. Got a lot of poise on this guy. I don't think you can, you can get that armor, which is a shame, because that armor is pretty sweet. Especially the helm they're wearing. Another one of these guys? Yep, there's also another one of those guys. Oh boy. It might not be a helmet, it might just be a hood over there. Spot skull. to be in. Yep. Boy, a good spot. <laughs> I was uh, reading about baldness because like you mentioned you were going bald a while back mm -hmm. and previously I had expected that it was uh, I had been told it was something carried on like the X gene you know like men are XY women are XX mm -hmm. and so like you get that from your mother and she probably gets that from her father okay and so like you can look at your mom's dad to see if you're gonna go bald. Yeah, and I'm our sure that's a wife's tale. And our mom's dad is like, Not he's got bald. a full head of hair and he's yeah. like 90 years old. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping to. So I was like, my friend's going bald. And I like, I would tease him. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm never gonna go bald. Check out my mom's dad. But then you're like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm going bald. And I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> I might actually go bald, and I've been looking at my hairline now, mm -hmm. and uh, it looks thinner on one side. <laughs> <laughs> so, you kind of tipped me off to the fact that I might be going bald. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, it's bound to happen eventually. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm not the cause of it. So it's having like a midlife crisis this week. <laughs> Apparently, my body's going to crap. Yeah, that was my reaction when I realized I was going bald. I was like, oh, I don't want to be old. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, I did a lot of reading on it, like what people do. Mm -hmm. Some people try to fight it with like Rogaine and stuff. Yeah, that doesn't work. I heard that like you can like prevent it from continuing, mm -hmm. but if you ever stop taking it, You'll lose all the hair you would have lost hmm. by then. Interesting. And so, like, and one of the drugs they recommend, like, has a low chance of giving you, like, permanent sexual dysfunction. Hmm. I was like, that doesn't sound like a good thing to take. Yeah, I don't know if I'd risk one for the other. So, I was like, what should I do? And some people were recommending, like, you should try to aim for the muscular, shaved head look. I think maybe that's what I would go for. Yeah. I'd say that's a decent, decent option. <coughs> I'm thinking I might try the, uh, 
the Jude Law look. He's kind of got the same pattern of baldness. He's got a decent mm -hmm. hair look, hairdo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now you got both of them. I don't know. Just one backstab. I got it going on. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> I use all these souls. <laughs> it's kind of weird because uh, apparently two thirds of men will experience some form of hair loss by the age of 35. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it's not just either you're going to lose all your hair or not. It's just like different people lose it at different speeds. Mm. And it's just kind of like you can work with the look rather than just saying, oh, I'm going to have like no hair in a couple years. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, I think our dad kind of lucked out. Mm -hmm. He didn't really start going bald until maybe a decade ago. Yeah, and like his brothers, bald. Yeah. yeah, both of his brothers are pretty bald, and their son, most of their sons are balding pretty well. I was such a fool, <laughs> squandering my good hair years. <laughs> Have uh, taken some headshots <laughs> before I started losing all this hair. When I was working at the uh, computer store, my boss was balding, and he he apparently got hair plugs, mm. but. Uh, I hadn't, I didn't, I didn't really have any knowledge of hair plugs or what what that was all about, and so I noticed he had come in one day with some kind of scar on the back of his head, <laughs> or or not a scar, but like, you know, like a looked like he had been cut or had hit his head or something. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, did you hurt yourself? <laughs> Which was a faux pas because apparently that was the hair plug surgery. Mm. So what's the deal with hair plugs? I guess they take the uh, the living follicle from some other portion of your body, like your back, and then they put it into your head. I'm gonna run out of transient curses if I keep dying here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at him. You really planned that one. I go for the double kick. That's... There was a third sister. horns. Can I like get rid of it? It'll wear off eventually. Sure. <laughs> I was lucky. So uh, 
you didn't plan this doorway very well, did you? Me? Designers. Oh. I'm like too low to even get hit by that. Maybe that was the plan. Oh man. That thing explode. Mm -hmm. Triggered. <laughs> so there's a treasure chest. Oh yeah, is there? Is there really a treasure chest? Mm -hmm. Pretty much at the entrance to the Four Kings, so maybe Homeward Bone and use your souls and then fight your way back here. Does that guy respawn? Uh, the big guy does not. That's good. Go back to your stats. Oh, go to your equipment. Okay. Uh, it was confusing me because so you have your club in the in the second slot, and mm -hmm. then go back to your stats. And when you were leveling up under R two weapon, that was increasing, but R weapon one was not increasing. I'm like, why is your weapon damage not increasing? <laughs> it's because the bow is the R weapon one. Mm. 